Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my studio. This is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos. And if you're here for a second, third, or fourth time, thank you so much for coming back and getting creative. All right, guys, it's going to be another fun Georgia O'Keeffe painting. We're going to really work on our blending and brush control. So grab your supplies, transfer your traceable to your surface, and as always, make sure you take your progress photos. Now, I went over my traceable with a black Sharpie marker for those of you at home that are going to pause the video and draw what you see. And on today's video for this Georgia O'Keeffe, this is more for my... Um, not quite first time painters, but those of you that want to get a little more comfortable with your brush control. We have three colors that we're using, red, yellow, purple, um, and then white to kind of mix our colors. And I want you to really strengthen your power of observation um, as we go through this and pause the video as needed. For the first couple sections, I do have the colors showing up and then those will disappear as it gets into the video. Uh, Cause like I said, it is just the three main colors that we're using. Now, as you're working with your blending, we are using the two small brushes or even smaller um, so that way we can work on control. So focus on your breathing, exhale as you touch the brush to the canvas, and realize that a tiny amount of pigment actually goes a long way to do your mixing and your blending. And I do recommend doing this painting a couple of times and you will see your blending and your brush control improve uh, greatly. So again, be kind to yourself as you're going through this. As you get into more control, like I said, you want to focus on your breathing and we're going to be making smaller brush strokes and kind of play with the pressure of your brush. Um, light pressure can create a bit of a smoother effect. A little more pressure, your brush strokes will show up a bit more. But like I said, this is just good practice for brush control and blending. Um, Again, you're going to be strengthening your power of observation, and that's a core foundational art skill, and it's something that you will carry on into your creative endeavors as well as your everyday life. The more observant you can be about things, um, just the more that you can learn and the more other people appreciate it, especially when you notice that, you know, maybe they got a haircut or a new outfit or something, and that comes from being observant. All right, if you do paint anything today that is the wrong shade or color, just let your paint dry and you can paint on top of it again or wipe off your wet paint with a paper towel. As you paint more and more, you will find your little tips and tricks and you'll find your groove of painting. And hopefully while you paint this, you just kind of get lost in the process, taking this little one section at a time, going slowly. And before you know it, um, the rest of the world just kind of ceases to exist for um, the moments that you are actually painting and focusing on the canvas. And that's one of the most therapeutic benefits of the painting process. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to turn this over to some music, pause the video as you need to, um, take your progress photos, look at your painting from a distance of five to ten feet away, and just get lost in the process of painting. Please send me um, any pictures, your final images, send them to paintwithlovejoy at gmail.com. I really like seeing what you guys do. Um, or tag me on the social media, uh, Paint with Lovejoy. <laughs> so um, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave any comments or questions. And as always, I just, I'm really glad you guys hang out with me and spend some time painting and finding that creative outlet in your life. Keep it going. So have fun fun.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the process of painting and I hope you are happy with how your paintings turned out. I'm really proud of you for getting creative. As you're uploading these to social media, please tag me at or hashtag paintwithlovejoy or email me your pictures, paintwithlovejoy at gmail.com. I really enjoy seeing them. Um, I try to post them on social media to encourage other beginner painters um, to try the process of painting. But please share this with your community as well. Anybody who is kind of scared to paint, share your experience with them and let them know kind of how much you benefited from it and how much you enjoyed the process. So kind of share, share the fun. Um, with that being said, if you have any comments, questions, feedback, things that you want me to paint in the future, please leave a comment. I try to respond to everybody as quickly as I can and any of the future suggestions for paintings, I add that to my production list and get to them as quickly as I can. So in the meantime, please keep getting creative. Uh, let me know how you're doing. And until next time, cheers.